morning vlog. It is Christmas Eve. I got on a festive sweater. We just walked down to a neighbor's house because they were giving away this pegboard that I can use for the warehouse. But it's very large and me and my sister carried it all the way back. So I'm out of breath. I will show you the pegboard now. All right, so this is the pegboard. It's definitely gonna come in use at the store. So I will have to try and see if it fits in my car and drive it over there probably Saturday, but super excited. It was free. We just had to come pick it up and it wasn't too far. So we just carried it all the way home. All right, guys, it's Christmas. So we're watching Elf and unlike every year of high school, I'll actually be able to watch the entire video and not just the first 50 minutes over and over and over again all day. So great. I love this movie. I don't care if it's like the meme Christmas movie. I love it. All right, friends. So we are making a meat and cheese board. I want to show you everything I have. So we have the, this is Buffalo Wing Original Hot Sauce New York Cheddar Cheese. We have this cheese. We have pimento cheese. We have the mini brie cheeses. We have a big brie, brie's our favorite cheese. And then we have a goat cheese. We also have an apple. I'm gonna grab some grapes. We have this mozzarella with marinated sweet peppers. And then we also have this mozzarella with caprese topping. We have some veggie sticks that are gonna go on here. And then this is the meat pack that I am using. It has prosciutto, salami, and dry copa. So I'm gonna start prepping everything. This isn't the board we're gonna use, it's just the board I'm gonna use to get everything ready. And then we will assemble the board. Okay, so now we are ready to start assembling the board. Miss Charlie, if you knock this over, I will literally end your life tonight. So, we have everything ready. And we're gonna start assembling our meat and cheese board. So the first thing you wanna start with is if you have bowls or like if you had like a large baked brie or something, whatever the big items are. You wanna go ahead and put that down. We're actually gonna do corners. Mm, no, we're gonna do like this, change my mind. It's a lot of indecisiveness. Try to decide if this is the board I wanna use or not. All right, I'll be back. Please pause, I need to reconsider all my choices. Okay, update, I'm gonna use this board. I like this one, if you're like, why would you switch a Tino? What does it matter? This has the ridges, so it has a better border than the other one where stuff can easily fall off. So again, we're gonna start with our bowls. And then the best way to do a meat and cheese board is to try and make sure that no like two meats or cheeses touch. So they're always like separated by each other. So you can choose to start either way. I like to start with my favorite stuff to get on the board and then work my way backwards. Maybe I should pre-roll the salami before we start this. The dogs are gonna be up my ass. Did they run out? Yeah. All right. 
one thing of meat. So there's a couple different ways you can fold things and folding the meat <laughs> makes it look nicer. So for these, I fold them in half and then in thirds and it makes a little roll like this. So I'm just gonna fold them and place them but then I'll move them once they're done. This will probably be sprinkled with time lapses. Okay, so for the salami, what I'm gonna do is you're gonna fold it in half and then fold it in half again. You get this little like pizza slice. And then when you stack them, you wanna alternate which side is open and it'll make like a really nice little accordion looking thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold this. All right, and the last one we have in here is the prosciutto, which is super easy. The way I do prosciutto is you literally just like scrunch it up like this and then you just set it on the plate. So I'm going to wait because that one's easy to do. But what I also like to do is pair the cheeses with the meat that I like to eat with them. So I'm going to put this brie here. I'm going to start lining it with the salami that I like. Uh, I need another piece to... And then we can do it like that. We have like seven apples over there. You gotta take a sliced one that I did. <laughs> yeah, just start putting it together. And then I'm probably just gonna time lapse the rest of me doing this and I might voice over the tips because this is gonna take forever if I have to explain everything else I'm doing. It. Okay friends, so here is the completed charcuterie board. As I said, I try to make sure I try to make sure meats and cheeses, like two cheeses don't touch and two meats don't touch. This is the only area I didn't do it. But because it's different like color and texture, I think it's fine.
But the only other thing I added that I don't know if I showed you is there's dried mango. Um, we have little mini pickles and then just some like crackers on here for different things. But yeah, this is, this is it. I hope you guys like it. If you guys make your own, please tweet these at me. I absolutely love seeing people's charcuterie boards. This here is like the topping for the mozzarella. So you can scoop it on there. And then I normally will put like some of these cheese knives. I have little tongs that'll go on here too. And like stuff like this, like these little spoons, I got like a pack of six for like a couple dollars at World Market. The This knife here was 99 cents. Like you can get these pretty cheap. Um, it's not that expensive. And all of this stuff I got at my local grocery store. So I didn't have to go to like a specialty store or anything. I just went kind of to the deli section and the little cheese counter they have and found stuff. But yeah, I think um, fruit is really great to have to add into little spots just to kind of fill everything up. But yeah, that is that is our board for the day. This is larger than normal <laughs> um, because it's just the three of us. But I really wanted to show you guys how to make like a proper one. So I kind of decided, you know what, I'll just make a full size one. And I have containers and I can put it all in and save and eat throughout the week. So let me, um, I'm going to start diving in basically. Also, I want to show you guys one of the very few like family traditions we have. Um, it's these ham roll-ups. Inside is pineapple and cream cheese. And you roll it up inside a piece of ham and we have it every Christmas. It is so good. I I don't know if that sounds like weird to you, but I highly recommend you try it. You just get crushed pineapple, drain all the juice, mix it with some cream cheese, and then roll it up inside some ham. And it's very, very good. Um, if you like Hawaiian pizza, you'll probably like this. But yeah, that's our that's our little Christmas tradition. So my sister made these for us. So we have this and the charcuterie board to pick at and when that'll be like our meals until dinner tonight so yeah just wanted to share that with y'all okay guys we are starting christmas dinner and this is our lamb roast we have some onions on the bottom and there's butter with garlic and rosemary and seasonings and salt and this is gonna go in the oven for a few hours and then uh, when it gets closer to being done we will start all the other food but the lamb is the first thing to go in we are wrapping Christmas gifts, and by that I mean my sister is wrapping gifts, and I'm here for support. <laughs> uh, but this is Ray's like big Christmas gifts. I don't want to tell you guys what it is in case he hears me, but oh, I can show you these because uh, oh no, I can't. <laughs> are you, well, are you gonna put this? Oh up? wait, you're gonna put this up tomorrow. That, I'm gonna and put this up gonna tomorrow. Drop them off tomorrow. So. so they'll get these because I'm gonna drop them off on a friend. <laughs> I got these from my friend Light and Giselle. I got this little keychain and purse for Giselle and then I got this Shadow the Hedgehog racer car for my friend Light and then these are little uh, like popcorn boxes of the Sonic characters so I'm gonna drop that off to them in the morning and then I got this cute little tea set that is uh, going well, it's like, to my wanna, friend Jules I was like do you want to say what they're getting oh you already told them yeah I already told them it's this little Boris the bear and then this is a Disney princess book we got for our friend Maddie. So these are all going to go out in the mail soon. They like literally just arrived. So I have to ship them out. But I'm super excited. I love giving gifts. But yeah. Maybe I'll try and show you one or two gifts of what I got Ray. Because this will be uploaded after he gets them. I mean if you want to quietly. Okay guys. I got Ray this card. It's our first Christmas where he's my husband. So I got him a proper like husband. And then I got him this. And I went to the store and I was like, I'm going to get the biggest this I can. I'm being nondescript so you can't hear me. So I picked this up and I got this amount on there. And the guy at the teller was like, whenever people buy that large of a gift card, I have to make sure that nobody online asks you to get this. But I don't think they do that scam with these types. <laughs> and I was like, no, <laughs> it's a Christmas gift for my husband. He's like, that makes more sense. So this is his like last little big gift for Christmas. So I'm gonna put it in his card. 
All right, friends, this is our little Christmas tree. I wasn't really gonna do a tree this year, but uh, a couple of my friends got me ornaments. We got this married one and we got these Xbox ones. So I thought it'd be nice to put this little tree here. And we have our little gifts on like a little table. So super excited uh, for to open gifts later. Ryan and I opened them at 12.01 on Christmas day because I'm impatient, but yeah. Very cute. I'm so excited. Yay. Uh oh, Santa came. More presents. <laughs> he must have come while we were busy. <laughs> but yeah, we got all the presents. Show the wrapping paper. Uh, we, we have this wrapping paper, which I think I bought in a vlogmas before the dabbing through the snow. Da so yeah, we have all of our presents. I'm so excited. Only a few short hours until we can open them. All right, our Christmas dinner is done. This is the lamb roast. Those are the onions that were in the pan with it. Instant mashed potatoes, the Hawaiian rolls. Instant stuffing. Gravy from a packet that my sister loves. And instant corn. So look at this. This is all like instant food minus the lamb roast. Literally the lamb roast took like two hours and everything else took like 15 minutes. Would highly recommend doing this for your meals. Takes the stress out of it. But uh, we're gonna sit down and eat now. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas, Miss Charlie. Merry Christmas, Miss Riley. <coughs> oh, look, Riley's like licking her, trying to calm her down. <laughs> oh, she's feisty. Miss Charlie, you're gonna get a treat once we finish dinner. You too, Miss Riley. Like I'm just here for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're laughing right at you. No, she was the <laughs> Kings, I'm very excited. I got mashed potatoes. That's in my stocking. Just half a bowl of mashed potatoes. <laughs> These are for the dogs. This a lot and a half a Diet Coke. Half? <laughs> Mary Chrysler. <laughs> Happy Toyota days or Toyota Oh my, my god. god. <laughs> Fucking restart the video. I got scratch offs, so I'm going to do them. This one is break the bank. So you get lucky numbers and you have to match. If any of your numbers match a lucky number, you get the prize. So I'm going to scratch this off. Let's see if I win. <laughs> Good news, guys. I won. Like 13 13. So I got $2 on that one. This is the next one I'm going to do. Uh, match any of your numbers to either of the lucky numbers, win the prize. Reveal 13 symbol, win triple the prize. 30,000 top prize. Let's see. Bad news, friends. No winning on this one. Texas Lottery, you failed me. <laughs> All right. Last one. Bonus bingo. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and play this. Guys, I got bingo! Bingo was her name. Oh, all right. I'm gonna record this so I don't get CMCA. All right, guys. I got bingo. So I won three dollars on this one, which means we made money. And two dollars on this one, so I got five dollars. That's a week of big gulps. All right, another Christmas Eve. We're gonna give the Sheebies their toys. My dad sent these for him, so for them. It's a whole big bag. Wait, you got it? Yeah, yeah. Are you excited, Miss Charlie? Miss Riley, you want to get new toys? Come on. Let's go. Come over here. Okay, Dad's going to give you the toys. All right. We got a little banana. Next. They don't even know. I don't even know what this is. Are you gonna like hold them in one ear? You're gonna hold them all up before? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. It kind of looks like a big but, IUD <laughs> or a butt toy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guys. All right, Riley's that? all don't, about this. Don't the... get pregnant. <laughs> oh, that looks cool. Yeah. Textured and a rope. Oh, get it, Charlie. Get it, Charlie. Okay. I want another one, Dad. <laughs> we got some little ropeies. <gasps> Rope toys. This one's for Dad. Oh. <laughs> Babe. What? <laughs> Riley snatched that rope out of you. And oh, they really like what are they fighting over? The banana. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get down here with that. Here we go. 
I'll put those down for you. Got a carrot. Oh, a carrot made out of rope. I'll take it. I love the banana. Dude, Riley loves this banana. We got this. Mario Kart wheel. That one's cute. That one, Riley would love if you took it outside and threw it like a frisbee. Yeah. Oh, oh there's another toy over there. Oh, look at this boy. It's very blue. I don't like it, Dad. Dad, you got to the pile. Oh, oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> look at that! It's a bull and a rope! Looks like a skip it. Oh, Riley loves the thing you have. she has. Yeah. Dad, look. Oh. Wait, there's more? <laughs> Wait. Oh. This... Oh, God. No. <laughs> oh, they heard that. Dad, what was that? Dad, open it. I can't. Can you help? I think I got it. There you go. <laughs> Dad, stop. Dad, I oh, want it. Oh, give it to me. Oh. Oh, is it way up too? Oh, man. Oh, Charlie's about that it's one. It's gone forever. Oh. Clean that up later. We got other ropes and stuff. Oh, this one. Look at this one. This one's... Oh, that one's cool. They can fight over the that one. The dogs and us, all four of us can fight oh, over Oh, yeah. Tug of war. Yeah. Then we got uh, a ball. <laughs> They're all about that one. They got a lot of toys. We should probably go through the toy thing tonight and get rid we of some new ones. Because they got like <gasps> Oh, God. Ones. They got like 15 new ones. Yeah. When they go to sleep, we'll go through their toys. What? <laughs> Wait, what is this? This is the weird noise one. That's not gonna make it past the night. Oh, you can put a treat in there. That's oh, yeah. what that hole's for, I bet. Did they break the? <laughs> no. Sit. Sit. Oh, good girl, good Charlie. Good girl, Charlie. Dad, I'll Sit. Dad, I'll take it. Sit. No, thank you. Broken already, maybe. Nope, no, is. I think it just turns. I think so. She sat, baby. I'm sorry. I'll find, I'll take, no, I'm no, I don't want to. Where's your this. banana? Let's bite Dad's foot. Merry Christmas, ladies. Merry Christmas, girls. That's from your grandpa. You want some potassium? We love That's, you. All right.